Welcome to Easy TV. My name is Michael Davies. The modality worklist tab in the Easy Packs archive shows a list of the attributes of each scheduled procedure step with easy search features that make it easy for the user to find unique patient procedures and determine the status of their procedure or procedures. The modality worklist goes into further detail with multiple descriptive fields displaying attributes such as the patient name and birth date, a description of the scheduled procedure, the modality where the procedure is to be performed, the start date of the procedure, the station's AE title and name, and finally the accession number from the order. If the user wanted to further investigate the attributes of the procedure, a small blue paper icon labeled SPS Details drops down a fully detailed list of items describing the procedure's referral origins, associated IDs and codes, and protocols necessary for performing the procedure, along with more patient demographics and medical history. A user with admin capabilities can edit the SPS details by clicking the blue paper with pencil icon or edit SPS attributes icon, which opens up a pop-up window within the browser. By default, only a select number of values can be edited, but the Allow All Attributes checkbox enables more value fields to be edited. These value fields can be renamed, deleted, or new items can be added by creating a new attribute. For demonstration purposes, I will change the Scheduled Procedure Step status from Scheduled to Arrived. Once the change has been made, clicking Save at the bottom solidifies the alteration. Clicking Save also automatically closes the pop-up window. To see your new changes, click the Reset button to essentially refresh all of the procedures. You'll notice that the list has temporarily disappeared, but it can be regenerated by clicking Search or pressing Enter in an empty search field. When the list is fully populated, the user can increase the number of procedures shown by clicking the Page Size drop-down box. After choosing a value, the page will automatically refresh and will now display the amount specified, which in this case is 25. To the right of the drop-down box is a description of the number of entries currently displayed per page and the number of total entries in the modality work list. The arrow to the right of this description allows the user to navigate to the next page of entries. To find a specific patient or procedure, there are a number of search fields that can be utilized. Much like the folder and trash tabs, the user can type in one or a combination of attributes, including the patient name, the family name being the last name and given name the first, patient ID, which includes the ID itself and the issuer, the start date, which can be chosen using a drop-down calendar, and the accession number. There are also four drop-down boxes which allow the user to select a predefined attribute, including the modality type, station AE title, station name, and the status of the procedure. Lastly, there is a double arrow icon pointing downwards in the bottom left corner of the search area, and this icon reveals patient birth date and study instance UID search fields. After typing in the desired search fields, which can have the exact spelling or phonetic spelling depending on whether or not the phonetic checkbox is enabled, the user can click the magnifying glass icon to begin the search. The latest items first checkbox puts multiple procedures from a single patient in chronological order. To hide the entire search area, click the upward-facing double arrow icon in the top right of the packs.